increasing the real estate on your countertop. Now, very few of us have enough room on our kitchen countertops. And if you've got something that you use every day, like a coffee machine or a bread maker or maybe a toaster, you're finding that you're having to pull that out, plug it in, and when you're done with it, unplug it, push it back against the wall. And wouldn't it be nice if those items had their own little rolling cart or rolling tray? That's exactly what this is, and I'll tell you, in the time that we've had this on the air, it has been incredibly popular. In fact, over 90,000 of these have been ordered since we first debuted it. It's called the Nifty Rolling Tray with Storage Drawer, and when you get this at home, you'll open your box and you'll take it out of the box. It'll look just the way it does now, and there's zero assembly. You simply take it out of the box, put it on your countertop, and park something on top. Pull out the little drawer and put something inside. Whatever you need and whatever you uh, want to use it for, this tray is at the ready. Now, I have three colors. So let's take a look at colors. I beg your pardon, I have four colors. This is your black. Here's the white. 1,200 left in the white. Then I've got red. 400. All I have, wow, only 400 in the red. And then in the gray, five dozen, all I have left to go around. Now, this is incredible because this little tray will hold up to 30 pounds. You see this little button in the front? This is awesome. When you press this button, it engages the wheels and disengages the brake. So when I press this down, I'm able to slide it forward, slide it back. If I stop in the middle, I can't slide it at all because when you let go of that little lever, the brakes kick in and it will not roll. When you're done with it, you simply press it, push it back against the backsplash, let up on the lever, and the lock engages, and you're ready. What's inside here? I'm going to guess some K-Cups for our coffee maker. So really lots and lots of great ideas. And I know that many of us, with as much time as we're spending at home now, you're probably doing a little cleaning and organizing and reorganizing in your kitchen. So if you've got some things on the kitchen countertop that you use all the time, then think about putting it on this tray. If there are things that you're not using very often, get them off the tray and get them into storage or underneath the cabinet, right? So we're going to show you how you can fill this with whatever you need. If you've got your KitchenAid stand mixer on top, put all of the accessories down below. If you want to use that little drawer for utensils or for extra tools that you use on a regular basis, then that's fine. This morning, I was having English muffins because when I went to the supermarket yesterday, they had this great deal. You buy one pack of English muffins and get two free, right? So I went home with three packs of English muffins yesterday, now two of which I'll freeze. And, but I was using my toaster just this morning, and I was toasting those up. So park your toaster on here. Pull it out, have your English muffins, push it back into place when you're done. This is going to make a lot of difference. Now, we have color choices for you. The first is the black, most popular. Then I've got white, 1,200 are left, red, 350 are left, and the gray. Oh, gray just sold out. Okay, so gray is gone. Okay, 400 of these are gone. I'm going to hand this off to Alana. Thank you. Now, this price will go away at the end of the day. Here's my toaster. So here's an opportunity for you to pull this out in the morning. Now, if you've got appliances that generate heat, one of the last things you want to do is leave it against the backsplash or leave it parked underneath the cabinets above it, right? Because you might blister that wood or wood product, whatever the cabinets are made of, and you could blister maybe uh, paper or drywall or paint that's on the backsplash. When you press this button, you pull that toaster out and away from the cabinet, let go of the little lever, and it's going to lock everything in place. When you're ready to put that back after breakfast, just slide it back and lock the wheels and you're good to go. Here's a Vitamix on top. Now, here's something you probably use with a, uh, on a regular basis, trying to make some better meals and some smoothies and different things for your morning meal or maybe making soup for lunch or, or dinner. All this comes together at five easy payments of $4.50. 700 of these are now gone. We're very, very busy. Now, down front are the three colors I have remaining. If you want the red, I have fewer than 250. We may sell out of red in this presentation. Here's white. I have 1,100 left in the white, and black is our most popular. I have 600 people on the phone lines, and 800 of these are now gone. Think about this. If you have more than one appliance that you use on a regular basis, say your coffee maker, maybe it's a bread machine. We're, we're using bread machines more than ever before. We have another bread machine, I think, scheduled for Sunday's show. So a very, very important because you know what? We're hearing now that we're going to be hunkered down probably for an, at least another 30 days in most areas. 
Uh, so you've got, uh, you've got some cooking to do, some baking to do, some organizing to do in your kitchen. I found that I came when I came home from the market yesterday, I was having trouble finding a place for everything because I was trying to buy what I knew I needed and what I needed to uh, have out on the counter, what needed to go in the fridge, what needed to be kind of moved around so I would have room for all the goodies that I brought home from the store. This is what it's all about, taking advantage of that space that you need. And when you don't need it, simply roll it away. No assembly on this when you get it out of the box. I love that. I have trouble unwrapping soap. I'm the last person you need to hand a screwdriver to and a manual because I'll be here until next time, next, this time next year. This is what we're about. We're about things that are easy, that are quick, and that are problem solvers. And there is so much that's not in our control right now, something like this is in your control. Allows you to organize that kitchen and make it a little bit easier to navigate for you and your family. And now everybody has what they're looking for. 1,400 of these are now gone. This price will go away at end of day today. It is 8.07, almost 8.08 p.m. East Coast time. End of day today, this price goes away and jumps back up to the normal QVC price. You don't want to miss yours. You want to get yours now, as I love to say, while well, the getting is good. We're so glad you're here tonight. There's a lot going on and we're feeling a little anxious. And isn't it nice to tune in to a show like this one where we're always just relaxed and thinking about what we love most, food and appliances and gadgets and gizmos and things we need for the kitchen, right? So this is what it's all about. We've got for you the black and black has been very, very popular. Next to that is the white. I now have fewer than 900 to go around in the white. And if you want red, I have fewer than 100 left in the red. Now take a look up top what we did here. We've got a Keurig. Now this is a Keurig Mini, but you can do a full-size brewer on here easily. Here is a KitchenAid stand mixer. Here is a bread maker. Here's that wonderful magnified mirror for when you're doing maybe your makeup ladies and you want to park this in the bathroom. Certainly fine for that too. Here's the Vitamix. And then finally I have for you the toaster. 1,800 of these are now gone. Red has now sold out, so let me grab red. No more red. We have only black and only white. Thank you, Travis. So, very, very busy, and please stay on the line if you would like the black or the white. That's what we have remaining. Now, we want to congratulate Angie O and her blueberry cobbler as the foodie photo of the week.